If you would like a chance to win a Pikachu EX10, all you have to do is like this video and hit be a subscriber. I'll be choosing a winner at the end of November. Hey guys, what is going on? This kicks here with another Pokemon video, and in today's video, we have a if I owned a store, what would I put in it? No, we have another If I Own a Store series episode. This is episode number three. If you guys haven't seen the other episodes, make sure to check it out in the playlist. It is in the description and it is, I guess, in the next video maybe. Maybe it's the next video that plays. But make sure to check them out. We did do some really cool stuff. And in these episodes, we build stuff and we open them. So pretty much there's custom products, but it's stuff that I would sell at a store. And in today's episode, we have a black and white Plasma Storm Elite Trainer Box. And this was the first Elite Trainer Box like ever released. That's why I decided to do this one as like... This, that's why I decided to showcase just this one. Because it was the first one ever released. This one is... I actually opened up this one recently. Maybe, maybe a couple years ago. Like recently to me. And it was quite quite cheap, I can't believe it. It's probably the last Plasma Storm booster packs I opened. Plasma Storm is my favorite set. It was the one of the first sets that I ever opened. So, fun fact. And if you guys would like to enter the giveaway, make sure to just leave or just hit that subscribe button and I will be picking a random subscriber at the end of the month um, to win. So yeah, just make sure that you subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> I'm all over the place at the moment, but let's get into this one. We have, this is something that I would probably sell in stores for maybe $30, just because it's an, it's like a, okay, so well, it's a mini, mini elite trainer box. I wouldn't call it a full one just because it doesn't have the packs. It has se like some energies, some other stuff. <coughs> All right, I just sneezed, but hey, let's get into this one. So the first thing that I'll pull out here is just a pack of sleeves. Just, just a standard pack of sleeves. Nothing, nothing too high quality or high tech. It, it, it can be any sleeves. They're just to resemble sleeves. So those are just sleeves that I use for my games at pre-releases. Uh, next things that I pulled out is a Tepu Coco, I guess, figure. <laughs> How random. But yeah, it's just like a little figure for kids. If you're gonna open this, and it, it's just to add, add funness to it. It's just like. People have figure collections, you can get a mystery figure, like, you, it doesn't even matter. You can get any sort of figure in these. Um, they're just to show that you can get cool stuff. Uh, let's, let, do, does he stand? Let's see if he can stand. We'll just, we'll just leave him over there. Next thing that I pull out is some dice. So we have some dice in there, I'm not sure what that's from. Maybe Primal Clash? Maybe Primal Clash, but that's just to help you, um, I guess, play the game a little bit better. Um, help you understand it, um, have everything there. We'll take out the packs and I'll show you them individually, mystery style. And then we have, I'll just get everything out. Then we have some energies. There's not many, there's just a couple, just to show you that energies are like vital for this. Um, you guys get a coin, as you do in most of them, and then you get your damage counters. These are acrylic, so they're actually really good. Uh, we'll put those ones off to the side, and that one can go off to the side. Actually, we'll put the packs back in it, and I'll choose, choose them out at random. How many packs are in these? Five packs. Okay, so the first pack is a Roaring Skies. Not bad at all. Um, these are all different types. That's why that's why it's kind of like a mystery type thing It's kind of like a mystery power box, but not a box Next pack is a crimson invasion the brand new set next pack. We have a burning shadows Next pack after that we have a fates collide. Oh umbreon hunting. I'm so excited And then the last pack we have an ancient origin. So we have five different packs very very different <coughs> Very different. None are the same, which is great. Um, not good for tournaments and stuff because you kind of want to get the same type of packs so you can actually play it in the tournament properly. 
and have like some duplicates and whatnot. I'm not, I'm not the greatest at this and I'm very unorganized and all over the place with this video. But hey, let's get into this Ancient Origins pack. If it'll open. But let's see what we can get. There's the first code. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys got that code. But let's see what is in this pack. We have a Meow, a Spinarak, a Porygon, Unknown, a Beldum, a Sableye, Forest of Giant Plants, a Flareon, Faded Town, and a Reggie Ice, Re oh, Reggie Ice Regular Rare, not Reverse Hollow, just a Regular Rare. We have, God, there's so much stuff everywhere. That one can go there. That can go there. We'll go Fates Collide next. Let's go to Umbreon Town. Let's go hunting for the Umbreon. Come on. I haven't... Oh, that's that's a sad sight. Good old green code. But we can still get a... A break card? Yeah, break card. We have a Gotharita. A Whimza. Win, uh, win, win, Wizma. A Minchino. Volaby. A Lovatar. A Alakazam Spirit Link. Whimsicott. A Zygarde, a Wormadam, and a Carbink. Well, well, Wormadam. Wormadam. Nah, just, just kidding. Just kidding. It's all good. It's all good. We have more cards to open. We have a Burning Shadows up next. Come on, Burning Shadows. I know. I know, Burning Shadows. We have so much history with um, all of the Dark Rise and stuff. That Brody doesn't get, only I get, because Darkrai loves me. So we have, this This will be a Darkrai. Come on, Darkrai, please. I love Darkrai, please. We have a Lunatone. Oh, 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 double Lunatone in a row. And, no, Darkrai. But hey, we have a Heracross. Heracross is cool. That art is really awesome. But let's go. We have a Crimson in Bayesian up next. Let's see what Crimson Invasion can do for us. There is a code card. Four and then two. Four, not three. Four. We have a Sandit, a Pump Caboo, Corfish, a Starly, a Skiddo, Energy, a Zoelis, Miltank, a Sea of Nothingness. <laughs> I love that. A Mamos One Reverse Holo Rare and a Miss Magius regular rare. We have got nothing but regular rares. Nothing but regular rares. Come on, Roaring Skies, please. To the pulling gods, can we get something? Come on. Come on, Roaring Skies. Let's go. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys got anything out of those codes. But let's go. We have a Swablu, a Bagon, a Execute, Fletchling, a Pikachu, Firo, a Fletchinder, a Ladio Spearling, Halloncha, and a Klefki Regular Rare. Ah, just the regular rare Klefki. Oh, guys. But hey, it's still all good. Let me know in the comment section below or email me because I got a nice email from a nice person. I'm not sure if it's a kid or an adult, but it was from Landon. Um, Really, really good idea. I really do like it. Um, I will try and make up something like that soon. So get your get your ideas to me somehow. Like Instagram, Twitter. I don't have Facebook. Um, Instagram, Twitter. Le let's go email. Um, YouTube messages. I don't know. Just get your ideas to me and we'll see where it goes from there. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't and let me know in the comment section why. And without further ado, I think I'm going to get out here and I'll see you guys in my next Pokemon video. Peace out, guys.